Hi guys, it's Paris and Alyssa. Welcome to Panime, our anime podcast. Today we're going to be talking about our favorite horror and psychological anime and manga. And in the second half, we're going to be taking a which character my quiz for Death Note and Soul Eater. All right, so first we could start with like, we could start with another. Another? Mm-hmm. Okay. So basically, I could just explain kind of like what it is. So it's basically about this this classroom that's cursed, and each um, month a student dies in a really like depressing way. And they're in middle school, so it's sad. Yeah, they're all middle schoolers. And it's like he moves from another town and he's new to the class and he just be- gets like put into this class. And every month, like a student starts dying. Like the every month a student dies. Wait, put your mic back a little bit. Yeah, it's really loud. We can just keep it like right here. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So for another, the reason why I liked it is because it was like gory, but just right. It wasn't too much where it's disgusting and like turns me off. I don't want to watch it anymore type of thing. And it's so short that it's like, why wouldn't you finish it? It's like, what was it, like 13 episodes? I think so. It was really short. I like the plot of it. I think that was my favorite part. And the plot twist with it, like yeah. how everyone starts dying or why and how they stop it or I try it, to. I thought it was kind of like, what's the word? Um, it was very, It I didn't like the plot that much. I felt like it wasn't thought out. Like, I Obviously, it's like one of those things where you watch the anime and you're like, oh, the manga must be really good yeah. or way better because some things weren't explained. Like, I didn't understand the whole part of the curse and I thought it was kind of stupid how, like, where it came from, you know, like, where the curse came from, I was like... Yeah, the... Be- it wasn't that scary. Like, where it, like, originated did not make much sense. And the girl that was in it most of the time, it was, like, the aunt or something. I was really confused about who she was, like, the whole show. Yeah, and then what do you mean... Honestly, let's just spoil it because... I hope I hope, alert. I hope JJ is hearing this right now. <laughs> I hope they are getting these spoilers. But it's just kind of like um I don't understand like what do you what do you mean the girl was from the past like the main girl and that was like kind of like the major plot twist is and everyone's ignoring her so at first you think she's a ghost and she's not she's just like a regular or, student. Well, she's not from the past. It was like his parents' generation. It was his mom's generation. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, yeah, 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 because the girl's the one they decide to ignore. Yeah. And, and then no one tells them that part didn't make any sense because they were too scared to tell them about it. Because like, they die. No, so. but they remember how they were trying to figure out a way to tell him without, yeah. like, explicitly saying it so they didn't die. They should have thought that through because – or just not let him join the class. Like, you know? Yeah, like, there's so I don't know why problems. they put him in that class in the first place. Like, <laughs> like what do you mean? How are you not going to tell him? And then he's just going to go to this class and see everyone ignoring this girl. Like, he's going to be confused and think that they're just, like, bullying her or something. Yeah, they definitely needed to explain that part. And the part about, like, I don't know. I feel like if he wasn't added into that group, would it still have the right amount of students in the class that they wouldn't have to ignore someone? I don't know. But literally the favorite, my favorite part about that show is how the kids died each month. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like that, that, was that one, scene, <laughs> one scene, the one scene where um, the girl falls down. It's like the iconic death. It's, I think it's the, the first one and she falls down the stairs and the umbrella one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one was, that one was good. Like that's literally what got us hooked on the show. And then I was like, and then we watched it. I mean, it's just so small that like, you're just going to finish it anyway, even if it's not that good. But it doesn't, I, I don't, don't know. I remi- don't like, really remember how it ended. But I, I do it was remember in that, It was in that fire. house, and they're, like, all trying to figure out. They're all trying to figure who out. Who it was? Some, yeah, they're all trying to figure out who it was. And remember, who was it was the ghost. And rem- yeah, and it was, um, because they were trying to figure out. It was, like, one of the students wasn't really a student or something. I think so. <laughs> no, I just remembered the last scene where it's the one like ghost looking girl who's not a ghost. And she's like about With the to eye patch? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the main girl. Also, why did they make her look like that? Why was she hanging know. around with dolls? Like those were her friends. They made her scary. Like it's not okay how they made that character. And she wasn't even that cute either. It was just like no. off putting. <laughs> so that one we should rate out of 10 because we okay. kind of just trash talked it like it doesn't even kinda sound did. like it's good <laughs> honestly you can watch it it's like it's okay a good horror one it's like more of a mystery I feel it like. is more of a mystery it's they're trying to figure out who it is it's like mystery thriller it's not like super scary it's not like shocking it's not like suspenseful like that much in like the jump scares and stuff kind of but the deaths are good yeah the deaths are good so if you like like just a little bit of gore <laughs> There's a lot of there's a, a lot. lot. Yeah, okay, yeah. But it's just like not distasteful. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. We should okay. rate it out of ten. Um though. I, I put it out of six. 
We already talked about this before. Yeah, it's a six out of ten. A six or seven. It, it's like it's good if you're starting out and you're trying to watch scary anime for the first time because it's yeah. like really light. But anyway, we could also start talking about serial experience lane. This isn't. I mean, it's scary. I think this one is scarier than. I think it is scarier because it's more psychological. Yeah, and it's very um eerie kind of. But serial experience lane, it's like. It was just ahead of its time. I'm sorry. You either love that show or you hate that show. And it's yeah. one of the ones where you have to watch it and then, like, afterwards you love it way more. Because it's, like, so confusing in the moment. You're like, why should I continue watching this? But it's so good. Like, once you if finish even it. Even at the end, like, you still don't really know what happens. <laughs> or, like, what's going on. <laughs> well, I kind of, like, I kind of thought, like, I think it's one of those things where you just interpret it. And, like, no one tells you. Yeah. yeah. No one tells you, like, what it really means. Especially that one. Because... I felt the same way about Neon, Neon Genesis, and um, I, like, didn't understand really what was happening, and once I talked to people, I kind of, like, had Start more of an understanding, yeah. but that one has a much more, like, what's the word, bigger, like, bigger audience, bigger fan group, like, like more people yeah. talk about that one, so it's easier to, like, figure things out, but it's one of those anime, you finish it, and then you watch, like, a two-hour-long video after that explains what happened because you don't understand. I watched a 45 minute one. No, we were together and we did watch a yeah. 45 minute video. And it, it mean it gave me like yeah, on Reddit. We were yeah, really we were searching. looking up theories because I needed to know what was going on. I don't I don't know if I want to spoil this one at all because it's like it's just you have to watch it and like should we just explain what it's about? Yeah, like the first part of it. Yeah, I'll I'll do like. The beginning part okay. of it basically it's about this girl um how it starts off is really interesting too which i think kind of does the audience dirty because people get so reeled in and then it kind of gets more boring and like regular and confusing in the yeah middle. but um the beginning episode is like this girl unalives herself yes and then um starts sending texts to people well specifically the main character she starts emailing her or whatever and but she's like you know, not alive, so the main character starts freaking out, and she's like, why, how is she allowed to do this, blah, 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 and starts looking into it, and finds out about the Wired, which a lot of people are already into, but she starts getting, like, obsessed with it, and it gets to the point where she kind of puts herself into this, and the Wired is kind of like the internet, right? Yeah, the Wired is definitely the internet. It, and it's interesting, because this was made in, like, the late 90s, but they do such a good job of, like, a lot of the way they represent the wired is almost like social media. And my the way I felt about it, like the way I thought about it, it reminds me of social media. Like kind of how you show yourself on social media. That's what Lane's doing. Yeah, much differently the show. than what she actually yeah. is like. Also when we were reading theories, I don't know if I was with you, but I heard that like she just has multiple personalities. Yeah. Right? We did see that theory. Yeah, I was like, okay, that makes Which a lot could of make sense. sense. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. Especially the thing about like that makes a lot of sense. Think about people now, how social media is so, like, in our lives, like, involved in our daily lives. And we always express ourselves differently than, like, like when you see someone's Instagram page, it's not, like, who they really are. Yeah. It's just kind of their expressed self or whatever. And I think it's so interesting the way they did that, like, 20 years before. Like, they explain it in the anime, like, 20 years before it happens. Yeah. The whole anime was definitely ahead of its time. It was creepy, and that know. made it way more creepier. It made it a lot like, worse. Like, watching it now, I'm like, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? Like, they predicted a lot of, like, random things. Especially, and then the last episode, I don't know. I feel like the last episode kind of did give you, like, closure for, kind of, in, like, a really specific way. Because the whole time you're watching and you're like, her family's weird. Like, it's just, there's like, Nothing so, makes sense. Yeah. And it starts, like, kind of explaining what everything means. And then... It, the ending is just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, just basically God. Um, yeah, there's like it goes into say, religion at the end. Yeah, it's like religion or, and and government. It goes into it like in the middle a bit. Yeah, like the government. And yeah, it's just there's a lot of things happening in it, but I think that kind of throws you off and it makes it scarier in a way. I don't know. I don't know why. It definitely reminds me of a type of anime like um, Neon. It just gives me Neon vibes. Like when I watched that show, and then I was done with it and thought about it for a while, I was like. This is exactly how I felt about Serial. You're going to be thinking about that anime for the next, like, month. Like, I was thinking about it for a minute. We literally watched it, like, what was it, a year ago? Almost a year ago? I think so. I think about it all the time. I do, too. <laughs> I'm not even going to count. I literally think about it. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. I even, yeah, like, nah, that one was underrated. I feel like people make a lot of memes about it and stuff and, like, kind of talk about it, but just not enough. Yeah, not a lot of people know about it. Yeah, it makes me feel, like, special. 
when I, when I put people on to that anime. So Serial Experience Lane. Should we rate it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to rate it like a... I think it's a nine and a half. I think it's I a think nine. I think so too. In the middle of it, it's like... I'm going to be honest. I wanted to drop it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I was and like, I was like, no, no. Keep watching. <laughs> yeah, because we didn't even have that many episodes left. And then you just like 20-something minutes. It felt like, like a long hour. time, though. Yeah. It felt like a really long Especially time. Especially because we binged it like all in all one day. sitting. But after watching it and like thinking about it, looking at theories, I'm like nine and a half. Yeah. Easy nine and a half out of ten. And then our last one is Perfect Blue for like psychological anime. Yes. This one is kind of scary because it deals with like real life situations. This one's the scariest one. Yeah. That's why I wanted to talk about it last because this one, well, I think it's also scarier maybe specifically for a girl. Yeah. Like it plays on a lot of fears that a lot of girls already have. Um, like stalking like i'm sorry that was so scary that was also it's also like like, the scariest part isn't even the guy that's like stalking like he is scary like it's obviously more visual so thinking about him he's really scary yeah the stalker or whatever but it's like the different situations that she gets put in because she is a girl yeah and then i'm just gonna i mean this isn't a spoiler because this movie came out in the 90s so i'm just gonna talk about it but like at the end it's like the big reveal or big plot twist it's literally ends up being like her manager someone she's close to that's hurting her like this which is that's like really scary to me because yeah. it's like a person that close to you, you trust that you trust mm-hmm. the most throughout the whole movie like she literally consistently trusts her with her career and everything and like tells her everything and it ends up being her like that's the person that like kind of was messing with her the whole time yeah and oh uh, it's just like it leaves you with such a gross feeling it's i don't know and i'm sorry but that guy like they didn't need to do, like, <laughs> they did not need to make him look just, like that. It's not like, it's weird, because he looks so scary. Like, he, he just, they made him, like, look horrible. Like, I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how they thought of that character design, because it was just not okay. Um, But, yeah, the whole idea of, like, her getting preyed on, her being yeah. stalked and messed around with, and, like, no one believes her, really. Yeah, no one believes her throughout it, and I think it kind of goes more into, like, her emotional state throughout it. How she's, like, just going crazy, yeah. kind of. That's scary, too. You see it, like, throughout it. Yeah, and that, like, Perfect Blue is, like, um, I feel like most adults know what it is. If you watch anime, you know what it is. Like, I feel like yeah. everyone just knows what it is. But it, it's because it's such a, like, it's like a classic. I don't know. It's, like, it's just iconic. Like, it's so, um, I don't know. <laughs> I, just <heard> them, <laughs> I just heard them laugh. And I don't, or I heard someone laugh. It made me feel weird. But anyway, um, I don't know. For Perfect Blue, what Do you explain what it? about how the girl's just like, I, feel like I mean, she's about. like a pop idol oh, at the yeah, beginning. Yeah, yeah. She's like a pop idol, and then she wants to like be taken more seriously and goes into acting, and that's when she meets the manager, and then they, she just starts getting put into like these really bad roles that they like keep saying that's going to like start off her career. Yeah, and then she's just desperate because she wants to like be successful, yeah. so she just starts doing whatever she can, which... And that specifically is a girl thing too. I feel yeah. like like you're trying to finesse your way or do whatever you can, even and when it's sucks. like making you really uncomfortable yeah. and you're not okay with what it. Doing. But she just does it anyway. Like that one scene, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. If you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, it was seeming when you're watching it, it seemed a little too real. No, for like, real. I was like real. freaking out. Loki was yeah. like, "Why? What is happening right now? Like, what's really happening?" And she even like she didn't admit it to the directors and all that, but like it actually bothered her. Yeah. It made her go like a little more crazy. And then I feel like after that, that was when, like, she started imagining really bad stuff. Like, yeah. him taking her, like, the stalker guy in the movie, which I'm still confused about that. Like, I never even realized, is that guy even real? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like he is. <laughs> because I think he has to I be. Don't. Yeah, Maybe I think he, he is. But you're telling me, did that girl just hire him? The manager? Like, she just I hired know, him and was like, because, like, I've never seen a theory. I haven't even heard that be explained. I've only heard about, like how it's related to black which by the way that perfect blue just like it's inspired so many movies like um i forget there's this one i forget the name of but also black swan or that movie yeah that came out i feel like it was in like 2000 early 2010 something like that like 2011 or something um so many people love that movie and like it was such a like it was praised so much they Someone, I think it was, like, the director, someone admitted that they took, like, inspiration from Perfect Blue. And you could obviously see it's about a girl who's, like, a ballerina or whatever. She's, like, going crazy and has, like, it's, like, her personalities are all messed up. She's, like, losing her mind. Um, I don't know. Perfect Blue is just amazing because, like, it just inspired all of those 
great things like i don't know it's like i don't know it deserves more credit i think it does too i don't know but i'll rate that one like same as cereal yeah like a 9.5 yeah yeah, yeah, nine and a half because it's just like it's scary especially if you're a girl yeah it's almost a 10 it's like a 9.8 i'm just kidding (laughs) especially if you're a girl like that's scary it's really scary it makes you think for a long time and it doesn't take up a bunch of your time like, if you want to watch something that's just a movie, yeah. like, you don't want to go into a whole series, you could just watch it really quick, and, yeah, I don't know, it's a good Halloween vibe, too. Oh, my God. We're just going to forget the most important thing, the thing I was most excited oh, about okay. here. <laughs> quickly, I have to talk about it quickly, so we have time to take the quiz. But I kind of want to mention, like, some manga that I was, um, that I like, like, especially around this time of year, during fall, um, like, Junji Ito fire everyone knows about him like it's not like i'm putting anyone on but um i do have two of his like out of the three like main books that i feel like are the most popular which is uzumaki and gyo um uzumaki is really good like really good i actually yeah, like, I like that, that one, one. like the how the, it's like a whole town going crazy and they get obsessed with like a spiral yeah like the idea of spirals and then they kind of just go crazy which that was i thought that one was way more interesting gyo is like it's just gross. It's just gross, and I think it's, like, it tries to scare you with, like, gross stuff. I don't like that. Like, those types of shocking, <laughs> like, it literally, it's just not scary, and if anything, it's just disgusting. Like, I, I read it, and, like, I didn't want to finish it, because I was, like, it's about the these fish things that attack people, and, like, it's hard to explain, but when you're reading, this is how you know he's a good writer, because when you're reading, you literally, it's almost like you can smell what he's talking about, and it's just disgusting. Like, <laughs> it's fish. Like, it's gross. <laughs> it's so gross like i don't know why people hype that book up i don't know why it's like in the top like kind of three main like i feel like it's a trio it's like uzumaki gyo and yeah. tomoe which that one i've wanted the most so i don't know why that's like the one i don't have but um those are really good because they're just like interesting it's not like it's super scary like you're gonna be shivering <laughs> shivering in your <laughs> boots <laughs> like shaking in your boots but it's like it's just interesting and it's it's good writing i don't know it's just Uzumaki. Yeah. I recommend Uzumaki. And I really want to read Tomoe. So Okay, yeah. those those were for the manga. Now it's time to take our little quiz. Alright. First one we're gonna take is the Death Note one, right? Yeah. And then um I'm gonna screen record. Not my phone being at eleven percent. Okay, are we gonna start? Yeah, I started screen recording on my phone. I did too. Okay. Which Death Note character are you? You have the Death Note. What is your first action? Um, I'm gonna hmm. I'm gonna do some experiments. I think so too. <laughs> I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna test up. that out really quick to make sure that's real. I'm warning about the consequences of using. Why is it Ryuk open. spelled like that? I know his name is not spelled like that. He's here to warn you about <laughs> the consequences of using the notebook. How do you react? Um, mm. I, I have questions. Yeah. I, think I have questions. I have questions. I'm a little um, confused. But I'm gonna do something a little different than you. So I'm gonna put. Should I put I'm willing to take the risk? Maybe I don't care or it makes sense. Okay, whose name would makes you sense. write on your death note? My ex. Uh, a well-known criminal. Yeah. Why would you do it to an animal? Why are you going to write an animal's... They don't have a name. Yeah. Wow. That's okay. do Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> it is the best way to discover who Cure is. Patience. Wait, wait I'm not make a actually. Mistake. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna say my answers because yep. I don't. I don't okay. want to get the same character. I feel like we'll influence each other. God, it's just silent. <laughs> what is the best part about having a death note? And fun. Why is it? <laughs> Wait, I don't like these answers. I'm so scared. Power, adventure, knowledge, or fun? Um, this is... I don't know. Oh my god. My mom First of all, it's literally 3.07. Ah, <laughs> uh, what, what is that? 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 What is
protect my people? Um, the f- the f- my Whoa. people? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about to say, what does that mean? I didn't my mean people? It is that like everyone? What does that mean? How is it already time to end? I don't, I don't know. My people. <laughs> my people. <laughs> this is the hardest part of having a death note. Um... We literally have two minutes. This is giving me anxiety, and I can't focus on anything else. Is the world a better place with a death note? Um. All right, all right, all right. I need to speed run through these. Why do they keep spelling Ryu like that? Riku? Like, what are you spelling it like that? Um, would you buy your soul to exchange? In exchange for it? Um. That's cheating. (laughs) (laughs) We're making the world a better place. Um, Please. (laughs) What would you do if you realized? What would you do if you realized your best friend is Kira? Oh, I know what I'm picking. I do too. Another information. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever wished to have something as powerful as a death note? I don't even know. Uh, what do you mean? What's the difference between water and rain? I don't know. What is responsible? Simple. Um. Oh my god. Guess who I got. Guess who I got. Wait, I'm not there yet. Your priority is gonna, your... I'm gonna die. The boat just rang. The boat just rang. My character... My character was light. My character was light. Was it really? Light, yep. I got light, too. I got light. Yikes. Wow. Yikes. Do we just stop? I don't like that I got light. I wanted L, actually. (sighs) I should have been choosing my answers around L. This is you were a hardworking, talented person. We both got the same one. This is embarrassing. Yeah. People rely on your judgments as you seem to be the most objective critique around your iconic features being able to plan things. Your IQ level is 200, which means oh. you are the second smartest person in death notes. I don't like that. Yikes. 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 Okay, this is the next one? Yeah. So okay, so we are light. That is we our character in death note. I f- Bro. What the hell? What do you mean? I literally was looking at these questions purposely trying not to pick things that would be light, because I thought, like, I would get him. <laughs> I knew my answers were leaning towards him a bit. Okay. What suits you most? Oh, yeah, this is a Soul Eater quiz. So. Jumping off buildings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually jump um, off a lot of buildings in my time. Um, I don't like these answers, actually. I don't know what that means. Okay, we got it. Let's speed run through these. Okay, not me forgetting the screen record. I'm going to die. <laughs> die. What do you think of Blair? What would you do? Oh, I didn't even finish. I don't even know. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, no, nothing really happens with her. They're just like she's always just a joke character, like the yeah. the witch or whatever, or like a fan service character. I thought my stomach was going to growl in the middle of this podcast. I was a little worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I was like, I'm hungry. What type of person are you? I'm I'm going. I'm going. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I, I would say that I'm playful. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are playful. <laughs> yeah. I would say. say you're pretty boring to me. I'm just kidding. Awkward, chill. You're chill. I was going to say chill. I don't like that answer I just said.
murder. If you were to write a book, what would it be about? Killing, actually. <laughs> it would be about killing. Yeah, true, true. I picked fantasy because I was like, that's I thought that made sense. That's what I picked. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm done. What do I think of my dad? I'm done. Senpai. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she. I had to do it. I, I got my it. character. I got my character. Bro, if we get the same one, I'm going to just be angry. And it, this quiz isn't going to count. Wait, who made the ghost soul? Do anything Hurry. Mm. <laughs> I got my okay, character. Okay, okay. Wait, that's the last question. What is it? I don't understand. There's no answer. No, it's supposed to be like okay. a memorization thing. Like... Which character you picked before, which slot they were in, I think. I don't know. It's stupid. It literally it's didn't not, pop it up with anything. answers. I'm Sibaki. Did you get her? No, oh my gosh. Did you really? Alyssa, no. <laughs> what did you get? Sibaki. <laughs> <laughs> this is annoying. We're not even kind, first no, of all. No, we're not. Strong person who's an amazing friend. I'm not calm. No. I can be very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can be very get along with people and is smart. Okay, but we get along well with people on a sport. That's a, some freaking... Okay. That's so Whatever. stupid. Yeah, Whatever. Let, might have to this. cut that out. That was like yeah, backfire right there. That's not okay. We are the same That person. was not okay. Different fonts. Anyway. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why did we get the same character? That was not what was supposed to happen. Anyways. Oh. The last part? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could okay. talk about like... Uh, what do our last little segment. This is okay. going to be like just two minutes. Like so. just a little summary really quick about... Begin us. Begin. Begin us? <laughs> begin. I'll begin us, all right. Don't worry. Begin. Okay. Okay, so I just wanted to mention, like, all the new anime that are coming out right now yes. that are, like, new ones, like Blue Period, Call Me Can't Communicate. Mm -hmm. um, I'm most excited for Miyako chan Yeah, I don't think that one's started coming out yet. No. I did start watching Blue Period, and I started watching Call Me Can't Communicate. That just I came too. out. Yeah. It just came out on Thursday. It was, it was cute. Like, it's just It cute. was cute um i like that one a lot yeah and i actually like the way that they because i i think you read the first one didn't you call me King yeah i read the first one with and we both um read that one and i actually like how they did the first episode it seems like the manga like it actually seems like the manga in my head because um it's super like not just comedic it's hard to explain but it like it just it fits really well like for what that show is supposed to be i feel like like they did a, i feel like they're gonna good they're gonna do a good job on the anime yeah um, for that one and also it's just the way that they draw it like it's super like high quality me, but cute yeah. it reminds me of like older romance yeah like it, how like some of their animations are like the screens they do to like change how it's different like pink scenes. and yeah. like yeah and like flowery mm -hmm. but it's interesting because it's such a high quality so it's yeah like, it's good and then um i'm most excited about chainsaw man i'm not sure when that anime is coming out but like everyone was excited about yeah. that trailer that came out in like june i think um or july and i'm just waiting for that to come out because i'm almost done with that manga and i just am excited like i'm really excited i don't know how they're gonna make it into an anime though like the type of it's so um there's certain manga that are like i I don't know how they're gonna make it into an anime that's yeah. one of them um because it's so random so like it, i don't know I, I i'm excited to see how they're gonna do it though because i'm excited about that one um there's like a bunch of things there's like demon slayer season two that's coming out yeah um i haven't even started watching that one yet and then i feel like i'm missing something there's like a main one that's coming out i think those are the ones i'm interested in that's about it though i'm excited yeah, about I Miyoko chan so. especially because i read the books you gave me yeah i, I read excited the first about that. like four or five i'm pretty sure it's coming out on something i just i feel like it's on like funimation or something probably because the call me can't communicate in blue period it's easier to watch it's just on netflix yeah so it's good i don't know there's a lot of exciting shows coming out this fall and i'm very happy about it I'm very happy also attack on titans coming out in december like there's mm -hmm. a lot of reasons to live guys <laughs> lots of reasons a lot of them um but yeah i just wanted to like kind of mention that because i'm excited about those shows and what i felt about that but i think that's pretty much it yep. all right guys that's it for today's podcast thanks for watching are you gonna say something maybe you should just be like what i say Bye, guys. I think last time I just said bye. Why do I keep touching it like that? <laughs>
<laughs> um, okay, that's it for today's podcast, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye, Bye guys. Mama, 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 mama. No, hold on. Do it. Mama, mama. <laughs>